Hi, this is Lisa from The Domestic Lifestylist, and today I will be talking to you about how to make your groceries last longer. Now, I love to grocery shop, probably more than most, but one thing I hate is when my groceries don't last as long as they should. I mean, really, I like to let my money go a little further than it typically would. So there's a couple of tips and a couple of things that I use that you can do at home that will certainly help your groceries to last longer, okay? So the first thing you can do is use back clips. Now when I say back clips, I'm talking about these things right here. Um, you can put them on your chips, on your crackers, on your cereal. Um, basically anything that you don't want to go stale too quickly, these are these are what you need to use to, to um, keep the freshness in. But before you use the bag clips, the first thing you need to do is press the air out of the bag. It doesn't do you any good to use a bag clip with this much air in the bag that you're going to use. So the first thing you want to do is basically press the air out, as much air as you're going to get, and squeeze the bag down as close to the food as possible. Then you put your clip on and you're ready to go. Now, if you don't have one of these fancy dancy bag clips, you can certainly use one of these um, binders that you can get from an office supply store. You probably have these in your home right now. See, it's pretty quick and easy to use. Snap it on. And that's another way that you can keep the freshness in your um, and the crunch in your cereal and your chips and so forth and your crackers. So that's one thing that you can do. The second thing that I do at my home is um, I have freezer bags on hand. This is always on my grocery list because sometimes I tend to buy my meat in larger portions and then I break it down into smaller quantities and then use the freezer bag to put the rest in. So for example, a lot of times when you go to the grocery store, there may be a sale on ground beef or chicken, but you have to buy three pounds of chicken. Now, I'm a, we have a family of four and I typically don't cook three pounds of chicken or ground beef um, in one sitting but if you or at one meal is what I mean to say but if you see that there's a sale on chicken or poultry or you know beef or something like that and you want to go ahead and get it go ahead and get it but make sure that you have freezer bags at home portion out the sizes that you need the quantities that you need maybe you want to break it down into um, one pound portions same premise squeeze the air out and make sure you use this fancy dancy label here and write the, the item that you're putting in the freezer bag because you want to be able to identify it. Also write the date and um, that will prevent you from having to buy poultry and meats too often. Also, what you'll be doing by putting your, your item in the freezer bag is helping to eliminate freezer burn and nobody wants freezer burn in their food. It tastes awful, trust me. You don't only have to use the freezer bags for meats and seafood and fish but you can also use it for um, items like waffles yeah my husband calls me the freshness police because I really did not like any items to return to the freezer or fridge without being in one of these bags even vegetables sometimes when you buy those frozen vegetables I mean a lot of times you don't use the whole quantity of course we can go back to the back clip you can use one of these back clips but how nice would it be to use one of these bags and put your veg veggies in and keep all the freshness in. Now, another thing that I do to prolong um, the how long my groceries are going to last is I use paper towels for my produce. We buy a lot of fresh produce. And, ha, ah, parsley. So I have some parsley here, right? So what I do is, as soon as I come home from the store, I get my fresh produce, my leafy greens, kale, parsley, um, fresh herbs. And I go ahead and wrap it in paper towel. No, I don't wash them first. I wash them when I'm ready to use it, okay? So what you're gonna do is take your paper towel and wrap that produce in there. And then you're gonna go ahead and put it in the bag like you typically would. What that's going to do for you is pretty much um, hold up or take away wick away any um condensation that would be present on the the produce itself basically when you put your produce in the fridge i don't know if you've noticed this but you will tend to get like water droplets on there and when you have water you you more likely to introduce um you know bacteria and so forth so the best thing to do is wrap your produce in paper towel 
and go ahead and stick it in the appropriate parts of the fridge that you typically would in the crisper if you would call it or you know where your other produce is and the moisture will basically allow your herbs to last longer i love using fresh herbs and produce in my food i think it really makes a difference i mean just use any of your old recipes that you've used all the time and just spice it up with some thyme or rosemary and something and you can tell the difference the thing with the, with the thing with herbs is though that um it can get expensive if you don't use it in time so one of the things that you can do to allow your produce to last a little bit longer for you is go ahead and wrap it in paper towel and then put it in the fridge and lastly what i'm going to talk about is um as far as making your groceries last longer is that you want to use your use your leftovers it's a good idea to do an assessment of your fridge and freezer especially your refrigerator because that's where your perishable goods are um, more perishable you want to do an assessment of your fridge and freezer like on the weekends you know every few days look at your produce and see if there's any yellowing softening um, change of texture change of um, scent smell look at it use all your your senses basically get in with the produce smell it look at it see if it's going bad if you're starting to see any yellowing and so forth it may be time to do something with that produce before you have to throw the whole thing away you see now look at this I'm gonna show you some yellowing on this parsley actually you see right there it's starting to just get a little bit yellow that tells me that it's time to use my parsley so what I'll do I'll chop it up I can put it in a soup a stew I could I could go ahead and juice the um, the parsley in the next day um, before it all goes bad one of the things you can also do is put the parsley in salads um, the sky's the limit really 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 you can use it as a garnish and if you feel like you're not going to be able to use the parsley for example before it's going to go bad you can go ahead and freeze it yeah you can go ahead and freeze that parsley put it in a freezer bag like in the tip I told you before um, put the date on it you know right on there what it is and then when you have the time <clears throat> pardon me you can go ahead and use the parsley in a juice or a stew it won't look as pretty so you probably shouldn't use it in something like a salad because nobody's gonna want frozen parsley in their salad but certainly a soup or stew or juice I love juice and I love fresh juices that's a great way to use um, something like parsley okay so basically so the tips that we talked about are using bag clips we talked in the, talked about using freezer bags wrapping your produce in paper towels when you get home from the grocery store and making sure to use those leftovers and the, the way that you know um, your leftovers are about to be in the space of needing to be thrown out you have to assess so I did talk about the parsley as an example but cheese is another good example you need to be looking at your cheese make sure there's no moldy spots strawberries are a big culprit you need to turn that carton that the strawberries come in you actually need to turn them upside down and see if there's any moisture or moldy spots um, on the bottom of the strawberries and a good tip a bonus tip for you when you're going to the grocery store and you're buying those strawberries not only do you need to smell them through the crate but you do need to flip that crate over because what you will notice is if you see any moisture or any fuzzy mold that would not be the strawberries to bring home because you're gonna say to yourself when you bring them home oh wow the strawberries have already gone bad no the strawberries were probably bad when you put them in your basket at the grocery store okay so that's it I have other um, ways to make a grocery your groceries last longer um, actually those tips can be found at five minutes for mom it's a site that I contribute to on a regular basis I'm gonna put the link below so you can go ahead to five minutes for mom.com for the rest of the tips again my name is Lisa from the domestic lifestylist.com go ahead and live life at home with finesse and style